Hello friends, it's Laura from Cold Mom and Collected. I am a mom of four and I live with my husband and children in a travel trailer while we search for our forever home and learn to be self-sustainable along the way. So I'm so happy that you guys are here. I have a new goal coming up. It's actually the first goal I've shared with you guys and that is to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you enjoy this video or just like my channel, I would love if you shared it with a friend and that would really mean a lot. Today, we are gonna be talking about fermenting. This is the Mason Tops Complete Fermentation Kit. I'm going to put a link in the description box below so that you guys can order it. Also check down there to see if there is a discount code because I'm hoping to be able to get you guys some money off. I'm actually going to be fermenting my first ferment and I will be sharing that in the next video so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. But right now I'm just gonna give you a tour of what is in the Mason Tops fermentation kit. So keep on watching. So if you look at the packaging, you will see that this kit comes with four pickle pebblers. That's not right. This comes with four pickle pebbles, four pickle pipes, and one pickle packer. So a lot of tongue twisters in here, but um, we're gonna open up and take a closer look. Now, when you order this fermentation kit, they give you the option to get either wide mouth mason jars or to get regular mouth mason jars. Uh, this does not come with the jars, but it does come with the things that I just mentioned. The jars and the lids are up to you. Now, I chose to get the wide mouth mason jars just because with a wider jar, you're able to pull things out a little easier. You're able to scrape things out, get things out. So, I mean, that's really the only reason why I went with the wide. This comes with a fermenting guide and recipe book. It talks on the back about mason tops and how they got started, which I think is really cool. And they basically want to make fermenting accessible to everyone and made easier, which I really do believe that this fermentation kit will do. It just teaches you different techniques. There's different things that you can make like kimchi and, you know, uh, sauerkraut. There are so many health benefits to this guys that I'm excited to do this with my family. We also have this right here which was very easy and to the point to read. It is the Mason Tops kind of overview of everything and it has the pickle pebble, how to clean it, how to avoid cracks, and how to store it. Then it has the pickle pipe, what to do before you use it, how to clean it, during the fermentation process and how to store it. And then the pickle packer, how to clean it, maintain it and store it. I really appreciate this. They didn't assume that everyone's a whiz and is gonna know exactly what to do. They really laid it out for a newbie fermenter like myself. I love the way that this kit looks. They actually say in this kit to hold on to the box and to hold on to the foam because it's a perfect way to store the pickle pebbles and honestly everything. You can already tell that the quality of these is really good. The pickle pebbles are pure glass weights made from lead-free soda lime glass and this is the same glass that the mason jars themselves come from so what's really cool is that since I chose wide mouth this is a wide mouth pickle pebble it'll fit perfectly into my wide mouth mason jars and this is what is going to keep the food that I'm fermenting packed down below when you're fermenting if any of the food is above the brine or the water it can actually go bad mold and ruin your entire ferment so I'm so thankful that I've learned a lot through mason tops forgive my nails by the way desperately need a manicure. Okay, it is possible to do it without these, but I really find that this is gonna be super helpful. And apparently they made a new upgrade where instead of just having flat pebbles the way it was before, they added this awesome little grip so that you're able to um, easily take it out and easily put it into your mason jar. So that is pretty cool. The next thing that is in here is the Pickle pipes, these names are so funny. It actually comes with a safety announcement here that says, make sure that you pinch the valve to separate the opening before first use. Obviously, before you use any of these things, uh, Mason Top shows you how you are to, um, what's the word, sanitize them in hot water. And in my next video, when I do my first ferment with you guys, I will also go into depth in what I've learned on how to do those things. So click there, you okay? Click there if you want to follow along. So I'm going to open these. This is my first time. Ooh, okay. So they're silicone. Let's see. They're BPA and phthalate. Phthal phthalate. I wish I knew how to say that. 
Pickle pipes are BPA and phthalate free silicone airlocks. They will allow carbon dioxide to escape without allowing the oxygen into your ferment. So they let the air out, they don't let the air in. And if you look carefully, you'll see that it needs to be squeezed because there's not a hole until you pinch it. But once you pinch it, you will never have to pinch it again throughout your fermentation process. So it's a one-time pinch. And I got these in all these other different colors, which is pretty cool. Again, this isn't something that you absolutely need, but this fermentation kit is supposed to make things easier for you. If you didn't have a pickle pipe, you would basically have to put a lid on your mason jar and burp your ferment, I think every few days, just by twisting the top. So it is encouraging that you can ferment without any of this, but it's just gonna make the process a lot more easy for you. You will no longer have to burp it once you have these pickle pipes, you can just put it on, screw over the mason jar lid, and then you can let it ferment for however long the fermentation process needs. Once you are finished, which say it's like two weeks, um, you can try it, see if it's to the taste that you enjoy, and then you can remove this and put the lid back on. Um, and, you, and eat it inside of your refrigerator or in a cool dark place. Huge time saver, you can go on vacation, you don't have to worry about bringing your ferments with you, which I've thought, how does that work? The next thing is a pickle packer, and it is really, really nice. It has the Mason Tops uh, logo onto it, and this is all natural acai wood. Akaki, asasai, asasai, I'm sorry guys, asasai wood vegetable tampers. They are pre-treated with a very thin coat of food grade mineral oil to seal and protect them. The quality of this, guys, when I saw this in another video, I thought that this was going to be heavy. I thought it was going to be huge. It is really not big at all. It is like the size of my head. You can either put it back into this box to store it or you can display it, which of course that's what I'm going to do because it's so pretty. I really like it. And I believe it has the wide mouth option or it has the regular jar version. So if you have that regular jar, you can pack in that way. It's really, really important to pack in your vegetables. Over time, as they ferment, they get smaller and there's more space. And so if you wanna get the most pack for your punch, you I think that's what it is, you wanna really um, push this in. So I am excited to have this, I definitely think it's helpful. Of course you don't need it, but again, this is just making life so much easier with fermenting, and I'm so thankful I learned about this from the beginning. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this review of all of these awesome products. They really look like they make fermentation a whole bunch easier, and I hope that you guys will check them out if you wanna ferment with me. So let me know, have you guys ever fermented before? Have you heard of this fermentation kit? Do you have a different one? Let me know in the comments below and let's share some of the ferments that we're making in my next video where we make our first ferment together. I'm not gonna say what it is, but I will say get your peppers ready and meet me here for the next video. I will see you guys in the next one. Remember to bloom where you are planted and stay cool, calm, and collected. Bye guys.